Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between MIG welding and TIG welding. In every arc welding process, an electric arc is constituted between the electrode and the conductive base metals. This arc supplies necessary heat to fuse the faying surfaces of the base plates. Metal inert gas, in short, MIG welding, is an arc welding process that uses a continuous solid wire electrode heated and fed into the weld pool from a welding gun. The two base materials are melted together forming a join. The welding gun feeds a shielding gas alongside the electrode helping protect the weld pool from airborne contaminants. On the other hand, tungsten inert gas, in short, TIG welding, also known as gas tungsten arc welding, is an arc welding process that produces the weld with a non-consumable tungsten electrode. So, let's look into the basic differences between MIG welding and TIG welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1, metal inert gas, or MIG welding, utilizes a consumable electrode that is continuously fed into the welding zone from a wire pool, whereas, tungsten inert gas, or TIG welding, utilizes a non-consumable electrode, so it remains static and intact during welding. Number 2, in MIG welding, the electrode itself melts down to supply necessary filler metal required to fill the root gap between base metals. So electrode acts as filler metal, no additional filler is required, whereas, in TIG welding, if required, filler metal is supplied additionally by feeding a small diameter filler rod into the arc. So filler metal is supplied separately. Number 3, in MIG welding, composition of electrode metal is selected based on parent metal. Usually, metallurgical composition of electrode metal is similar to that of base metal, whereas, in TIG welding, Electrode is always made of tungsten with small proportion of other alloying elements like thorium. Number 4. MIG welding is suitable for homogeneous welding. It cannot be carried out in autogenous mode welding as filler is applied inherently, whereas, TIG welding is particularly suitable for autogenous mode welding. However, it can also be employed for homogeneous or heterogeneous mode by supplying additional filler. Number 5. The electrode cum filler for MIG welding comes in the form of a small diameter of 0.5 mm to 2 mm, and very long several hundred meters wire that is wound in a wire pool, whereas, TIG welding filler typically comes in the form of small diameter of 1 mm to 3 mm, and short length of 60 mm to 180 mm rod. Number 6. In MIG welding, due to very large length, the filler electrode can be fed for a longer duration without replacement, whereas, in TIG welding, due to short length, frequent replacement of filler is required. This interrupts the welding process unintentionally. Number 7, MIG welding is commonly carried out either in AC or in DC EP polarity so that electrode can be melted and deposited at a faster rate, whereas, TIG welding is commonly carried out either in AC or DC E and polarity to increase electrode life. Number 8, in MIG welding, filler deposition rate is very high, so the process is highly productive, whereas, in TIG welding, filler deposition rate is low. In this sense, it is not very productive. Number 9, MIG welding usually produces spatter. This causes loss of costly filler metal, whereas, TIG welding is mostly free from spatter. Number 10, quality and appearance of weld bead are not very good in MIG welding, whereas, TIG welding can easily produce defect-free reliable joint with good appearance. And, difference number 11, MIG welding does not lead to tungsten inclusion defect, whereas, TIG welding sometimes leads to tungsten inclusion defect occurred when a melted or broken part of the tungsten electrode gets embedded into weld bead, 